Albert François Lebrun was a French politician, President of France from 1932 to 1940. He was the last President of the Third Republic. He was a member of the center-right Democratic Republican Alliance. Biography Born to a farming family in Mercy la Roe, Mulder et Moselle, he attended the École Polytechnique and the École des Mines, graduating from both at the top of his class. He then became a mining engineer in Vesoul and Nancy, but left that profession at the age of 29 to enter politics. Lebrun gained a seat in the Chamber of Deputies in 1900 as a member of the Left Republican Party, later serving on the cabinet as Minister for the Colonies from 1912 to 1914, Minister of War in 1913 and Minister for Liberated Regions, 1917 to 1919. Joining the Democratic Alliance, he was elected to the French Senate from Mother A. Moselle in 1920, and served as Vice President of the Senate from 1925 through 1929. He was President of that body from 1931-1932. Lebrun was elected President of France following the assassination of President Paul Douma by Pavel Gergelov on 6 May 1932. Re-elected in 1939, largely because of his record of accommodating all political sides, he exercised little power as president. On 10 July 1940, Lebrun enacted, promulgated the constitutional law of 10 July 1940 allowing Prime Minister Philippe Petain to promulgate a new constitution. On the 11th of July, Lebrun was replaced by Petain as head of state. He then fled to Vizilla on 15 July, but was captured on 27 August 1943 when the Germans moved into the region and were sent into captivity at the Itter Castle in Tyrol. On 10 October 1943 he was allowed to return to Vizilla due to poor health, but was kept under constant surveillance. On 9 August 1944, when the Allies restored the French government, Lebrun met with Charles de Gaulle and acknowledged the general's leadership, saying that he had not formally resigned as president because the dissolution of the National Assembly had left nobody to accept his resignation. After the war, Lebrun lived in retirement. He died of pneumonia in Paris on 6 March 1950 after a protracted illness.